awake. Thank goodness. You were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry! I don't cry! I just caught something in my eye! What'd you catch? Tears! Now, now. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why don't you drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what, I'm not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. Before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk. And say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We'll all wait for you here. Before you... Yeah, you can go talk to every Greek character you've met in the game. Before that, let's talk to everyone here. Hello, Frisk. Alfie's upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the Queen has returned! And that and also that she's a huge dork! You two are two feet away from each other! Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. <laughs> wow! Those puns are even less funny coming from her! Why are you smiling? It's a pity smile! Frisk, do not feel left out. I've been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time, do you not? Frisk, how about you go look around before we all go? Seeing how many good friends you've made here, I'm almost certain you must have made some more. And that's all she says. Hey, Frisk, what's with that weird expression? Sans, did I tell you about the time Frisk flirted with me? And then asked to call me Mother? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> wow, Frisk! This really puts our relationship in a new light! Hey, Tori, do you have any other embarrassing stories? Oh, do I ever! But I think that story is one of the most unbelievable. It is hard to think anyone would want to flirt with me. <laughs> oh, Toriel, you have no idea. Sorry, I don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now. What you want, working? I know, and it's taken all my concentration. <laughs> Sands. So, Asgore. How about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard? Truly, this is the worst possible ending. Seems like you really bossed your quest, Frisk. But I, the Great Papyrus, will always be your friend. Thanks, buddy. No matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey! That's true! <laughs> so, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm going to go out and, um... No, I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch an anime, anime like a total loser. That's the spirit! Everyone, a celebration to being losers! <laughs> Pyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing to ever happen to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? 
Um, what's an anime? Oh my god! Frisk, please. Let me explain what anime is, Asgore. You see, it's like a cartoon, but... With swords. I'm a prostrate. So it's like a cartoon. But with swords? Golly! That sounds neo. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Hold on, uh, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, uh, um, that's the... that's the wrong. Uh, never mind. Golly, were those two robots... Kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Hey, Alfies! Alfies! Think we can watch something with fighting next? Oh, and then something with princesses? Or fighting princesses? I'll see what if I can manage to find anything like that, Undyne. Yay! <laughs> wow. Psst. Frisk. Um, you've got to tell me. Do you think Asgore and Toriel are uh, ever going to get back together? Uh, it's possible. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I hope, too. Just think about how cute they must have been together. It's quickly becoming my number one ship of all time. Tori and Gori. My, my old boss and his ex-wife. Uh, that sounds a lot less cool all of a sudden. On second thought, maybe I won't write fanfics of real people. I mean, is it real life already the greatest fanfiction of all? Uh, don't tell anyone I said that. Because I'm going to post it online. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. Asgore? That's not what I meant! <laughs> Frisk. I just realized, now that we aren't fighting each other, I can finally ask you, would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Sure. Oh, well, actually, the cup I had is cold now, so you shouldn't have it. But I'm so happy you said yes. As soon as I can, I'll make some more for you. And we can be great pals. Well. Let's start heading back through and see who we can talk to. That's cheerful music. Oh, something I want to show off before I get back that way. All the caskets are open. Coffin is empty. No support. There's something like mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. Hmm. Ah, <sighs> dear. Oh dear. This is crazy. So we've won. Yeah. I guess you could say we did. Feels good. Freeing an entire people like that. Or helping to. I mean, Azio really did all the work. Something I didn't mention. Uh, the name Dreamer is Murderer. Scrambled up. And Azriel is Serial. So... Yeah, that's kind of messed up, isn't it? Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, this episode's gonna be a bit longer than the other ones. To say the least. Oh. How far we've come. First started in the ruins. 
where we are now. It's crazy, you know? Oh, right. I'm not going to talk to every single monster, just the ones that I can easily get to. <laughs> um, are you guys on your way out? Guess I'll catch up with you later. Good news, the elevator started working again. Now it's been so busy, we still haven't gotten a chance to ride it. No. Right. The slime, I'm overjoyed. Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time. Or ever again. So we're free, huh? That's uh, told us as much. And he told me... I don't think that means you're getting out of work early. Ah, my boss. I love that guy. And by that, ma by that, I mean I hate him so, so much. So we're free now. Does that mean my double date is cancelled? I know. It wasn't really a good date. Here's a trick, little buddy. Lie to yourself all the time. Makes you feel better. Don't tell anyone this, little buddy. Because they'll make fun of me. But I... I feel like I played in hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even if it was just working this awful job, I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. Hey, you sold me some useful items, so don't worry about it. Future. Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my, ahem, <clears throat> qualifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's as I say, nowhere to go but up. Literally, in this case. Anytime, little buddy. Blub blub. How can we live life without reservations? Quite easily. So, we're leaving for my job. Ugh, I just got a raise. Well, I guess every apple has its core. <laughs> wow. Surface world. Really? Maybe I'll be able to go two feet without running into a puzzle. Maybe. Hey. Oh, we're all free? Oh, I guess I can stop leaking this ficus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. You do that. Man. Crazy, crazy world. Sorry, the resort's shutting down. I think you'll find it's still great to pass through. Let's go talk to the, uh... Well, these two. So, we're, like, totally free now, huh? Yeah, like, totally free. Like, cool. Yeah, like, cool. Like, millennia of being a prison finally over? Yeah, that's like pretty chill, I guess. So they were here for a thousand years? Damn. I'm a human. Oh, oops, really? Uh, well, when we said we, uh, um, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just, like, joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably. It's, like, practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was... Braddy's the ca best, and c c Caddy's the cool ass. Um, no, we're like literally, we've like literally never said that. Can it be though? Can it be? <laughs> Future. Mm -hmm. and now that we're like gonna be free, oh my god, we can finally fill our dream of having a pet cat. That's like your dream, Caddy. But Braddy, I don't want to have a dream without you in it. Aw, Caddy. And. In my dream, you clean up after the cat. Cat, eh? Like cats? Me? Yeah, I love cats. They're like, so tasty, like, so cute. Braddy, no! I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, when was the last time you even saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day, there was this cute little white cat walking around. It was like, so clueless looking. I fed it for like an hour. Caddy? Yeah, Braddy? I think that was like, 
a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. <laughs> okay, like, see you later. Yeah. <laughs> Craziness. I'm so excited to sell ice cream on the surface. For all humans are like you, I think it'll be really popular. Undyed told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get us used to love and peace. He seems happy still. I'm definitely not going through every single area here. That would take too long. But, you want to rematch? No. I want to get back down. This way. Okay, okay, okay. We able to have a nice drink on the surface. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's head back this through this way. I guess. Hack. Unfortunately, there are shortcuts that can be taken. You again? Bah! I don't care about going free. You think humans could appreciate the details of classic puzzles? Possible. Goods. Well, him here news. Very goods. Yeah, yeah. Tim's go can go free. Losing development, no? <laughs> well, hands can go on surface. Can see. Not of cute human. Everyone's go free, but Tim. Tim not leave. Tim watch egg. Tim will be happy to family. It's hard boiled. Dance, what could it mean? Supplies my unbridled happiness. The government told me they were willing to transmit me outside. Why don't you smile at my dance? It almost feels a little rude. Please! He's waiting for someone to let her out. Well, let's go talk to, uh. Wait! I'm Timmy. Damn armor so good. Any battle become an easy victory, but Tim think if you use armies, battles would wouldn't be a challenge anymore. Tim have a solution. Tim will offer us scholarships. If you lose a lot of battles, Tim will lower the price. If you, so if you get to tough battle and feel frustrated, and buy Tim armor as last resort. Tim armor so good. I was the only buy if you really needs it. Yeah, yeah. Tim got degree in Tim studies. Tim can tell you all about Tim's deep history. So, yeah, it's already down to 3,000. But, well, it's the end of the game. Oi! So, it's not like I'm gonna be able to buy it anyway. Oh well. No biggie. Getting going onwards. Are you ready to hear the story about how Fluffy Buns got his name? I am. And yeah, 
At this point, it's been long enough that he remembers. So yay! God, have I really been recording for two hours? Night. No, an hour and 22 minutes. I'm reading the clock wrong. Incorrectly. <laughs> I knew you could do it. <laughs> okay, okay. I remember it clearly now. With the monthly address at the castle, the Queen was giving her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the King. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, Your turn, fluffy buns. The audience burst into laughter. Realizing what she had said, she started laughing too. For a few moments, the King held up his arms. The crowd grew silent. He leaned towards the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns. And the rest is history. Says Gorgo and Goat. Oh yeah, of course. Troy was queen and Asgore was a king. It was tragic when she left, so the ruin knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was also just a teensy teensy bit relieving, you know? Those two were really insufferable together. Nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so sweet it made me sick. Thank god those days are over. Anyway. Let's go visit a certain ghost. Uh oh, Metaton, I'm a huge fan of high human. I'll never forget when you cheered me on when I was pretending to sleep. No one had ever had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but what's your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. It seems like I've been missing out lately. Just sitting at home, sing the tunes. There was a flash of light, light outside my window. I saw the snails on the farm disappear. Then I heard a knock at the door. Flash of light, I wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk. Okay, I won't forget it. Hey, Metaton. There you are, Frisky darling. Feast your eyes, Dr. Alfie's completed my wonderful new body. Oh, then did you hear the barriers open? And I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh, yes, I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before finding you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill up my upcoming troupe. So four Shirens agreed to be my backup singer. And Naps the Blue here will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together. It really feels overdue, doesn't it? Still locked. It's locked. Maybe that's what the mysterious key is to. Fuck. Oh well. I accept the ride, it takes a little bit, but it skips a good portion of the wetland. So I can't complain. Come on. Goodness. see the real stars now. But I still don't know what those are. Eh, don't worry about it. It seems like the mouse has freed some of the cheese from the crystal somehow. Neat. Big old for the fairy. Hold on. Thanks for stepping on my face. It's three gold. You got three gold. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, you know that artifact? It's gone. <laughs> Someone took it. 
<laughs> oh well. Well, I could have taken it anyway, as far as I'm aware. I mean, I could be wrong, but yeah. Snowden now. Oh god. Having an amorphous shambling family member is great. They're always moving, so I can see them a hundred percent of the time. Parents have been confined into one horrible being. That's okay, though. It's really brought our families together. Hmm, now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Wait, we're dogs. That stuff's normal. Go to the library. This is the last day we'll be open. Just make as much noise as you want. The great struggle of my life is over. I just saw today's junior jump. Oh my, there's so much news to report, I don't even know where to begin. How about this headline? Monsters go free from the underground. Nah, it doesn't have enough pizzazz. How about top ten monsters you won't believe got freed from the underground? This will be a new the newspaper's last issue. No, why don't we just put a big the end on the front and call it a day? Yeah, that's sure to grab people's attention. Freak them out. Hmm, when humans play monsters and humans, they just call it humans and humans? I doubt it. it seems like this is the beginning of a brand new boundless world. Haha! <laughs> this adventurous spirit, it's like, I'm like a kid again. My children are like double children. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Hell, oh, screw it. I ain't talking to you again. Oh, hey! Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ice Wolf can take a break to buy some pants now. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're free? Finally, I'll be able to stop smiling. Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was going to say a joke here, but I really don't have one. Finally won a game of poker against itself? In the end, I never caught any girls on my fishing line. So kid, take it from me. Don't try to catch hot people with a fishing rod. Somewhere, here when a winnie of dismay. <laughs> wow, a brand new world. I might not get to translate for Grilby anymore. Which is fine, So I was actually just making up what he was saying. Good job. Ha! <laughs> Hey, people won't have to move in from the city anymore. Seems like we won't have to lose our local culture. Except if we're all moving out of here, huh? Well, I guess it can't be all punk peaches and punk green. Soon I'll be able to try some human food. But I guess I'll try a human bathroom, too. I, I wonder if in a, oh, the overworld has, has hot guys and neat drinks. Ooh, I'm ready. Ah, uh, I think he won't be disappointed. I heard Dr. Elfie's told the King and Queen the awful things she'd done. He felt so bad that he didn't know. He gave her a big hug, and the Queen fired her. Now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. Yo, what's up? I've been kind of doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as he thought. She's just kind of mean. But yo, I just found out about someone way cooler. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it would be nice to show humans our presence under the tree tradition. They'd probably be weird to help by it. Actually, you'd be surprised. That kid over there told me that it's weird that I have a pet bunny. First, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother on a leash, right? Wow. Uh... 
Is anyone else weirded out by those giant shambling amalgamates, or... Eh, it might be you, but it's hard to say. Hello. Sorry, no time for a nap. Snowed in and it's shutting down so we can all go to the surface. Mom says that we can go to the surface world now. Don't worry about that, anyway. I don't want to move. Hello, Traveler. I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of white light, and I felt my body being pulled into something. Then, suddenly, everything was back to normal. I heard that it was all because a human came through here. A human. I can hardly believe it. Well, if they decide to stop in, I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. I guess no one here knows what humans look like. Did you hear? The ruins have been opened up. And get this. They're open from the inside. Apparently, the queen had been staying there for God knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? future. Well, I suppose I'll move my store to the overworld. I don't plan much more than that, I'm afraid. See ya. Bye now. Come again sometime. Man, that is quite the forest underground, isn't it? Someone on the surface will pay attention to me. There's so many people, someone has to, right? If you say so. <laughs> All free? Okay, okay, I'll stop lounging around. Does that dog know? It probably doesn't, does it? Eh, you'd be surprised. Heh, <laughs> I guess we'll have to go to the surface. There are woods there we can live in, right? Yeah, there's plenty of forest still left in the world. Hey, didn't I take your cap? Ha! After all this time, you're still thinking about my hat. Please. Didn't I take your hat? Eh, whatever. It's a plate of lukewarm spaghetti. It seems like something tried eating it and just gave up. Uh... about getting older. Stop being a teen. No, I refuse. I'll just invent new numbers like 20 teen. Funny. <sighs> I guess the invisible maze is gone. Hey, guess what? Ah, I can feel that piece of me has been take, well taken care of. Hmm? Barry's opened up? Hmm, then, if it's not too much to ask, could you take that piece of me to the surface? I would really appreciate it. Sure. I'm carrying it this long, I might as well keep carrying it. And you remember these guys, right? The Doctor! She brought my wife back from the dead. So I don't even remember what accent I was giving you. He seems happy again. Family is bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with assisting other people. So... Snow... Oh... Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool. Because, uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke! Laugh at it! <laughs> no thanks, kid.
Never mind, guys. <laughs> Cute. It's a conveniently shaped lamp. And yeah, I'm going all the way back to the beginning. For a very special reason. We'll see when we get there. In fact... Hmm, there's not really many people to talk to in the ruins. You know what? Yeah. I'll be back as soon as I get to where I want to be. I thought I'd show this. Looks like cheese... It looks like cheese has a nibble taken out of it. Besides, we're almost there anyway. Too much further to go. Ugh. Rivet, rivet. Excuse me, human. You seem like you have grown into a thoughtful and conscientious person. Whether that was from my advice or not. Quite proud of it. Okay then. Okay. Hang on. Here we go. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Chris, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? You trying to keep me company? Wrist. Hey, let me ask you a question. Frisk, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebbet, you bought, are said to disappear. Frisk, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Because it's there! I don't know, it's because I'm a curious little dumbass who can't leave well enough alone. Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? I know why Kara climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Oh... Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Kara hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about it. Frisk, you really are different from Kara. In fact, though you have similar, uh, fashion choices. I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe, the truth is, Kara wasn't really the greatest person. Now, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So, maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. Yeah, that's put it, putting it mildly. It's one less thing I feel I should tell you. Frisk, when Kara and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the ones that picked up their own empty body. And then got to the village, and they were the one that wanted to, to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up the flower. Frisk. This whole time, I blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you... I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. In the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. 
But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. That's besides the point. Chris, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you, uh, see me, think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowers out there. Not everything can be resolved, Jai. Just be nice. Risk. Don't kill. Don't be killed. Alright? I promise. That's the best you can strive for. Well, see you. Frisk. Do you have anything better to do? And there's really nothing you can do, Emma. I'm pretty sure if you just talk to him at this point, that's all he'll say. And there's really nothing else to do but to turn back. And don't worry, I won't subject you to, uh, walking the whole way back. I'll see you when I get there. Alright, there's something I forgot to do. You received a text from Toriel. Dear Frisk, Sans and Alfies are teaching me how to text. I'm learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? Please look at this. Turn your head to the left. It's a picture of me smiling at you. You see it? Lol. That stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Toriel. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room. Receive another. Dear Frisk, how are you? I'm running around for quite some time now. You're not getting into trouble. Only kidding. No. Sincerely, Toriel. Yes, do not get into trouble. Yes, Mom. Excuse me, I do not mean to write sincerely. I meant to say sincerely. This is for use to use this with large hands. Perhaps I should ask Sans to translate for me. Perhaps you should. Sans will be typing from now on. This ought to be good. Hey, Frisk, it's Toriel. I just baked. Just little pies. Do you want any? Make sure to brush your teeth before crossing the street. I did not say any of that. Greetings, this is Sans. I love my brother very much. Help him being slandered. <laughs> That's funny. This is Sans. Frisk, did you know I love to get owned? I also think the tutorial is very good in vulgar culture. Excuse me. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Must have been grappling for the phone. <sighs> oh god, this is a long freaking walk. Come on. Let's get to the next screen. Cat video inside. She describes a meticulously describes a video where she, she saw of a small white animal. There's no link or attachment to watch it. Sigh. Forward send this to someone you care about, or a skeleton will rattle, rattle his bones at you. Cute. 
Dear Frisk, you might enjoy this. It's uh, A S C I I Art of a Snail. Whatever that is. Dear Frisk, and then a papyrus want to cook something together with me. Says it's telling me that they are excellent chefs. I am excited. Maybe if you're lucky, you can have some. Oh dear. This will not end well. Dear Frisk, if since I started a band, do you know what we would call it? Dreamer and Femur. Lol! P.S. That is only joke. Do not refer to me as Dreamer. Uh-huh. Dear Frisk, Undyne is very strong. Papyrus made a bet with her that she cannot lift everyone here up. She could! The only trouble is that she did not know how to put everyone down. Okay. Dear Frisk, Alphys is telling me many interesting facts about the human world. Quite a few of them are wrong, though. Frisk, you did not tell her anything funny, did you? No, I didn't tell her anything. I swear. Dear Frisk, I heard that using the computer for too long is bad for you. However, I have not seen you use a computer at all. You must be very healthy. How nice. Uh-huh. You're a god woman. I think I may have to turn off the phone for now. Your friends are all very lovely people. I think I will send this time getting to know them better. You good, all right? Sincerely, Toriel. And that's it. No response to phone like that of batteries. All right. See you back at the end. Well, here we are at last. The true path to ascending. Let's do it. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans! What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowie! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? We should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? After all the shit I've been through, I think I can handle that. Yeah! Frisk will be the best ambassador! And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot! I'll go make a good first impression! Wait, I don't think that's the best idea! Well, someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! <laughs> hey, Undyne, wait up! Whoops. Uh, should I do something? <laughs> Giving him the stink eye. Well... Gotta go! <laughs> it seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk. You came from this world, right? 
so you must have a place to return to. Do you not? What will you do now? I got places to go! No, no, I don't have anywhere I have to be. I want to stay with you. What? Frisk. You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It's a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go, I'll do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. All right? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. Aww. That's cute. I love it. The feels are real. And they are good. And the credits. <laughs> Professional Frog, braver every day. Backup dancer, perform bullying. Popular nutritionist, dedicated yes man. Naps the bloke. Spooky DJ. Oh yeah. And you remember that dream of papyruses? Driving down a long highway. <laughs> oh, Sands. Is there any successful comedian and fashion designer? Christmas display has his own seeing eye dog. Finally, number one nose nuzzling champions. Oh dear. On a loving owner, excited by life's changes. <laughs> Jesus. Hee hee hee. So silly. Okay. To me. <laughs> oh dear. Change name to Angry Dummy. I couldn't read what Shiren had. Hey, Metaton. <laughs> ah. Encouraging space heater finally confesses. What? I don't. Hey, Muppet. Spider success. The new bakery candles to the world's largest birthday cake and the royal guards. Use your imagination. <laughs> Giving life its own meaning, a long battle finally ending. Engineering. Oh, domineering glasses seller. Taking a well deserved nap. Street magician. And the amalgamates. Living with their families. And of course, you remember what Toriel wanted to do, right? Open her own school. Or be a teacher, at least.
What the? Oh, come on. <laughs> Did you really think it was over? Oh, you little troll. <gasps> I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. You remember that door, right? Well, if you get through this without touching a single name, the door will open if you start, uh, reset and start over again. I don't know if I'll ever do that, but let's see if I can keep from touching any of the... Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, well, screw it. Too late now. I'm not good at this sort of thing. Ah. Ack. Ah. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you take any damage, but... Ah. I'd have to probably do this multiple times in order to do this without touching any of the names. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. And here's where I really have trouble. In case you didn't notice. Ah! Stuff it! Oh, screw better with a joystick, but I don't even know if this has controller support. <laughs> and there's all the credits I touched. Figures. Damn it. Thanks to friends and families for supporting us, and Undertale Team thanks you, the player from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all of this would be impossible. Good night. That's sweet. Undertale. The end. I'm pretty sure that's it. At any rate, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. You've already seen two endings. But I don't think I'll be trying for any of the others. Because, honestly... You have to be a douchebag, and... Whenever I do evil shit in video games, it makes me feel... <laughs> uh, it doesn't feel good to me. So, maybe I will at some point. I don't know. But for now, I'm going to leave it at this. Again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a good day. Bye-bye.